can get any footballer. Okay. Get him in a big old headlock. Ooh. Who are you getting and why? Go on, Sterling. Oh, man. You're missing the point entirely. He's not just a goal scorer. It's not like it hasn't been done. It's been done. It's tried and failed. It just got serious. <laughs> I'm Jack May and this is The Social, brought to you by Brew City. This week we're joined by a footballing legend and some Sport Bible fans here to raise their game and debate more points than Turkey managed in the group games. <laughs> Talking of Turkey, please don't cancel me if you see my giblets. <laughs> Thank you. Blame Ali McCoist for making me wear this monstrosity. This week's guest is a proper baller, playing 20 plus years professionally. He scored over 200 goals in his career and is well known across the world for being the strongest man in football. The man, the myth, the beast. Mr. Adebayo Akinfemwa, how are you, sir? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> too kind, too kind, too kind. They were told to do that. Hey, hey, they, were, hey, they yeah. like me, man. Come on, now. How are, I, yeah, I like you. How are you? I, I can't complain. Yourself? Very well, thank you. Feel free to have some of our Bruce City snacks. Help I yourself. Because pre-season hasn't it, started yet. We won't tell the gaffer if you don't, sir. Yeah, but he weigh me in that. You know, not... <laughs> Let's talk about the, uh, the obviously um, the tournaments going on at the moment. Yep. Are you a, are you a fan of Southgate? Oh, Gaz. Massively. Yeah. Massively, massively. Um, not just what he's done on the field, I think off the field. I love the fact that all of a sudden he's made the England um, footballers mm. seem like what we are, and that's human. I think that as soon as you put football in front of players, all of a sudden they should be doing things differently or perceived differently and because they earn. I feel like now the media seen that they're just humans playing football. And that's yeah. the reason why I like Gareth Southgate. He's, he's looked at it where... You know, not like it's a youth club, but it's just such a relaxed place to be. And when you're relaxed is when you like you, you play your best football. Talk me, talk me through your your setup. Where do you watch games? You sit at home with some snacks and that. Or? Yep, yep. Mm. So there's, I've got two. So yeah. I've got, I've got the man names that come over, mm -hmm. and then we banter. And I say, oh, I could have played that, and they say, Oh, we love you, B. You could have played beast mode, <laughs> or it's pure quiet. Really? Me, man cave. I have my snacks here. Bloomy fries. Screen there, chill over here. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh man, go on, Sterling. Oh man, go on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's what I kind of do in that. You know? Yeah. So it depends the setup. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fair. Can I can I come over at some point? No. no I'll bring I'll bring these. Huh? I'll bring these. Are you wearing a kilt? I can take that off. Oh, say if no. Ali McCoy's in at yours, I'll take it off. All right, say nothing. Yeah. Then you can roll around, you know what I'm saying? With the man them, not yeah. by myself. I've got plenty of man them. Oh, say so, man so, I see you. So, so much man them. <laughs> you, you, you played in Wales for a bit, didn't you? Yes. Are you yes. back in the uh, Wales lads to really sort of step up their game? Yeah, yeah. No, you know what? I've got like a, a, a nice little affiliation. Mm. You know saying? I love my time when I was at Swansea. How far can they go? I, I, listen, I think they can get, round, get through to the next round. And yeah. I feel that that's as far as they'll go. But, you know what I'm saying, once you've got momentum and a togetherness, you know, they maybe could go further. Kerry over here, are you, am I right in saying that you can speak Welsh? I can indeed. Can you say it's coming home in, in, in Welsh, please? Yeah, of course. My heen dod athre. My heen dod athre. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> get me on Game of Thrones as well! <laughs> what? Hey, multilingual, you get me? <laughs> You're the, uh, you've been the strongest man in sort of world football for, yeah. for many, many years now, many, haven't many you? Many, many years, yeah. What, what, what are you going to do after football? Are you going to sort of use that to your ability? Are you going into, like, wrestling or something? But... You know what? So there has been talk, um, mm. and I've been getting this question a lot uh, about what I'm going to do after football. Um, I'm still probably looking to play one more year. I'm going to retire next year at the age of, you know, the, the young age of 40 and that. Yeah. Go on. Oh, Go no, on. I'm not, yeah. I look 24, though. Yeah. Uh, uh, what? Uh, what did you say? 34. Uh, oh, yeah. I take That's 34. Still deep. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I take 34. So, but then there's we have um, we've um, had some talks with the WWE. Wow. Um, which you know is interesting, and then some stuff in LA as well, movie wise. So yeah, watch this space. Movie It'll be fun. Yeah, wrestling and movies. I know. They got the Rock over here. Hey, I'm just saying, not saying that being a Rock of Bridges, <laughs> but hey, Rock. So Bayo, picture the scene. You're now a wrestler. All right. You can get any footballer. Okay. Get him in a big old headlock. Ooh. Who are you getting and why? Oh, good question. Good question. He's been in the press recently. I respect everything he's done, but it'll probably be Sergio Ramos. Really? Yes, yes. Wow. Yes. Get him in there. Bap, bap. Let him know. Let him know. You get me? I'm scared. I ain't going to lie. Sergio, where you at? 
<laughs> Sergio. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you the reason why. Yeah. Like, last time he played against my guy, Salah. Yeah. He hurt him. He made him cry. Made, uh, yeah. Yeah. He hurt him. And I can't have that, because I feel since then, mm. I've taken on the kind of half the mantra to kind of be Salah's protector. One final, final question. Who's winning the tournament? Is it coming home? Uh, listen, I so want it to be, or I want it to come home. Mm. I do. And, and do you know the worst thing is, I think people are... England have got seven points, ain't conceded a goal, and they're kind of nicely moving. Yeah, ticking along, isn't it? They're, just, they're yeah. ticking along. Mm. Um, but I do think it'd be, I think, Italy, France, and Belgium. I think, for me, they're the three. Yeah. They're like, you know what? If you had to pick one, who are you picking? You have to pick one. You have to give us a shout. We need it for the title. Belgium. Belgium? Belgium. I think Belgium's going to win it. That is a hot take. Yeah, I Speaking like... of hot takes, it's time for hot takes. Ooh, like that. We're all safely out of the group stages. Yes. Come on! <laughs> well, apart from uh, Scotland. And we're ready to go up a level in the knockouts, but one group we can never fully escape are the keyboard warriors of the comment section, which brings us to hot takes. We almost called on the Sport Bible bouncer to sort out this little scuffle between Kerry and Steve on a tweet rating England players after the Czech Republic game. Kerry said, sorry, England fans, but I think it's time to accept Kane isn't in the world-class bracket. And then Steve responded, saying, his golden boot from 2018 suggests otherwise. All right, let's get this sorted, shall we? Kerry, take the floor. I completely stand by my tweet because the last time I checked, his job was to score goals. In three games, he has not scored a single goal. At the minute, a right-back from Swansea City has more goals in this tournament. So, is he a bit offbeat? I think he is. Oh. Against Scotland, he played 74 minutes, had 19 touches and had one shot off target. Oh, that's a good start. Steve, take it. You're missing the point entirely. He's not just a goal scorer. He's a role model. He's a captain. He doesn't just score goals. He has scored goals in the past. He's dragged Tottenham, of course, all the way through. <laughs> Don't laugh. He's, got... <laughs> He's dragged Tottenham all the way through. Most assists, most goals. And look, this is the group stage. It doesn't have to end just here. This is just feeling his way through. The tournament starts from the second round. Are you That's a, what we're are looking you a Tottenham to. fan? Yeah, Absolutely do. not. No, <laughs> oh, I'm okay. not a Tottenham Sounds fan. Sounds like a Tottenham yeah, fan. Yeah, I was going to like, yeah, I say, you sound like a Tottenham fan. So, look, you, you both made your points. I'm happy with how succinct I, I was. Yeah, you're happy, with your point, you're happy with your point. I'm happy because he's a golden boot winner, so that's where we, where we sit. 2018, we're three years Living on. Living in the past, baby. <laughs> OK, all right, cool, cool, cool. So do you want me to jump yeah, into mate, my yeah. piece, yeah? Yeah, take the floor. Right, so, of course, this is personally as well. I disagree with you. Well, um, I think Harry Kane is world class. I do feel you're right. He hasn't scored, but he brings so much more than just goals. And I can say Giroud went through a whole World Cup without scoring, played every game, and they won the World Cup. Oh. So I'm just throwing out in a sense where, you know what? It's not just about goals. Even though he's paid to score goals, he does do so much more just because he attracts a lot of defenders and allows other players to get in. So that's just personally. I think you could have drummed it home a little bit better, but <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm going with you, Steve. I'm going with you. I, on I this one, you, you gave win. Steve the point, but you still give him a little I just, what, I'm just saying, like, yeah, come on, yeah. man, it's Kane, well, man. Well, I panicked. I've got you a Welsh, know, I, yeah, Welsh I, fan in front I, of me. It's, I, I, you know, it's what It's happens. one of them ones. It's one of them ones. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 Bayer, who's getting a point? Steve's getting a point. Steve, 1-0. Kerry, lift it, yeah? <laughs> okay, I'm telling you. As ever, we decided to do a little digging into both of your feeds, and we found this extremely hot take from you, Kerry, reacting to uh, a tweet about Gareth Southgate. Can you explain this? You said, should have sat Gareth before the tournament and got Jose in to do a job. Huh? Take it away. Yeah, I still stand by it. Get Jose in. I think he'd have a good chance. There's only seven games in this national tournament. He could have a better crack at it than Southgate. I mean, look, we've done this thing before with the foreign managers, Sven, Capello. In fact, Sven, back in 2002, we played them twice. Sweden in 2002 and 2006. Drew both times. My concern over this is what happens if you've got Jose leading the charge with England, Portugal, final. Who's he going to sit with? It's a good point. He's Very a professional. Point. He's going to have to, surely, right? Bayo, you said that Belgium are on for the tournament, maybe. Yes, I did. They've got a foreign manager in Martinez. You've got Hungary, Italian manager, playing good football. It works for them. Maybe you've got to change the system. A bit like when... You go on a dating app, you don't find what you want, and then you widen your net. I do that yeah, all but the you've, time. You've just gone with the, one of the smaller teams all there. What about Italy, Germany, France? 
they all play better than England. Have this their own bang! Yeah. He whacked you out the park. I like that. You need to up your game. You need to. I, I, anyway, I like that. You shut it down. This is what I'm saying. Look, let me just interject. Have you both said your point? Both finished your point? Oh, say, he's me, in teacher mode. Let, I love let, it. Let me interject out here. It's the hat. You're off that premise that there's always better out there. So, um, like Steve said, the foreign managers have been tried, tested. But you look at it and you're only picking out, oh, yeah, because I did say Belgium, but you're only picking out the one of the of the elites. And when man showed you the Germanys, when they won it, when Italy, at the moment, where they're looking like the favourites. Mm. So, for me, I get what you're saying about the foreign manager, but I don't agree with you at all. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Gareth fan. A little at all in as well, just really kicking I'm, I'm a Gareth you know. fan anyway, but I, 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 I truly believe what you're saying. It's not like it hasn't been done. It's been done. It's tried and failed. And at the moment, England have played three games, two goals, top their table. How are you begrudging? So, Bayo, who's getting the second point? Bayo. There we go. Steve, you won that 2-0, but the true winner is Bayo, because I like him more. Sorry, Steve. It's time for the free dart challenge. Welcome back to the three dart challenge. The rules are simple. Each team has three darts, most points win. If Team Bayo ups the levels and beats our three dart score, not only does he get to take home some incredible Brew City bar snacks, <laughs> Jeez. Bayo will make me eat a Brew City snack with his special hot sauce on that he's brought with him, which I'm told is the hottest available in the UK. So, enough talking, time to put it all on the line. This is mental. Bayo, up you get. No, I've got this, I've got this, you got this, yeah? I'm terrible, mate. Last I two episodes, lie, I've man. lost. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh my oh. God! Oh. He's hustled me, oh, 26. Right. Kerry, can you follow in the footsteps of Gezi Price? We will see. We will invoice you for the... Oh, my... Hey, listen, no, no, she didn't know what the game was. She what didn't know what she, the game was, she was yeah. Aware. She was giving a lot of banter about being professional. Oh, before. my days. <laughs> listen, she said, hey, she didn't know. Right, come on, Jack. Well, I've only got to beat 26, so I'm going to do it easy. Oh, easy. Right, you do right. it. Hey, one second, one second, one second. Up it. Right, I'm going to... Wait, 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 mate, your toe's over the line, I'm man. I'm loud, I'm All right, loud. cool, go on. Right. Right. I think my mosquito... All right, my wages. <laughs> That's what I call. Ooh, right, let's ooh, play. Yeah. One second, Jack. Wait, Jack. Right, I'm going to mix it up again for 19. Wait, 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 wait. I right, got. Go on, go on. Go on. Okay, go on. I'm going 20. Oh! Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. It just got serious. <laughs> I hold on, man. Steve, I thought you had training. It's you, it's Steve. you. Come on, man. Come on, take Steve, that, man. Steve, you need 24 points or more. <laughs> nah. Please raise the roof here. Hey. Right, come on, Steve. Raise it, mate. Because right, here, right, here we go. I'll be woeful. Here we go. I'll shush it as well. It's quiet, a game of inches. Set. It's a game of inches. <laughs> There we go. I guess I've got to eat the hot sauce. What? I? Bayo, more importantly. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I, I just go eat the beast mode sauce. Hey, right, let's go. <laughs> come on, let's go get it. You I'm ready? so gutted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, so you gutted. That. It was your fault. What's up, man? See, I like the halloumi bites, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to ruin it. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Come on, nah. Have nah we got, come, cool. Can I swap it for barbecue sauce? No, what are you talking about? It's a beast mode sauce. Go on, take it in, take it in. Trust me, just take it in. Uh, You're calling this beast mode I'll just, sauce? It's beast mode I don't want sauce. beast mode. You do, <sighs> man. You're beast mode. Whoa, 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 whoa. More, man. Whoa, whoa, what are we talking about? Mum, take some. Why did we get this Come on. I prefer Ali McCoy. That. Engulf, engulf it, engulf it. Right, that's engulfed. That is engulfed. Oh. No. All that's, right, more, there's more. Perfect, yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, uh, yeah, that's look. how it is. You meant to lick your fingers too, man. Don't worry, oh, sanitizing that. Take it uh. in. Take it in. Just take it in. Let it marinate <laughs> through your throat. Go Are you down having a laugh? That. Say nothing. Just, just let it marinate. Oh. This isn't in a contract. Hey, right, let it marinate. <laughs> just let it marinate. Oh, nice, nice, man. Come on now. Yeah. Okay, uh, Go on, take, take some of that, man. Oh, don't put it in your eyes. Oh, no, it's oh. don't put your fingers in your eyes, because you got it on there. Yeah, yeah, let, let me just take um, it off your eyes, because we don't... Don't know what it. I'm supposed to say now. There's Bruce City in them, man, there, you get me? <laughs> I'm dying, yeah. um, but you won the dart. Oh, yes, I did, baby. So, you win some beautiful Brew City snacks. <sighs> what you, are man. they? Hello, Halloumi man. bites. Come on, baby. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thanks to you all for watching, and thanks... Uh, you stay over there, baby. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks to Brew City for joining us to present the social. Enjoy the round of 16. Sorry, Scotland. Enjoy watching Love Island. Get me some milk. Hey, Get you me need some milk. Some milk. Uh, <laughs>
Ha <laughs> ha!